During a cold spring game at Fenway Park, Michael Pineda was having a hard time getting a good grip on the ball. So Pineda put pine tar on his neck so that he could touch his neck, then rub the pine tar on the ball to prevent it from slipping. But in the second inning, Red Sox manager John Farrell alerted the umpire crew to the brown substance on Pineda's neck, and he was ejected from the game and later suspended 10 more games. In 2009, the Toronto Maple Leafs head coach Ron Wilson called for a measurement of Jason Spezza's stick. Knowing that the stick was illegal, Spezza tried to quickly snap his stick and replace it with one on the bench, but that didn't fool the refs and he received a two-minute penalty. At the 2019 Hero World Challenge, Patrick Reed was in the bunker on the 11th hole. On two of his practice swings, he pushed back the sand from the ball, making it a much better lie. He received a two-stroke penalty for this and just gave golf fans even more reasons not to like him. In a game in 1987, umpires became suspicious of Minnesota pitcher Joe Necro. When they confronted him, he proceeded to stall and casually tried to throw away the nail file and sandpaper he was using to scuff the ball. Unsurprisingly, he was caught and then ejected from the game and suspended 10 games after. At UFC 210, Daniel Cormier failed to make weight weighing 1.2 pounds over the 205 pounds he was supposed to be at. He would return two minutes later and re-weigh and would come in at a perfect 205. So where did those 1.2 pounds go? Well, look at the difference between the first weigh-in and the second weigh-in. Cormier presses down on the towel to alleviate pressure from the scale on the second weigh-in. Cormier was never penalized for this and the UFC would still deny it to this day. Cincinnati Reds third baseman Chris Sabo was caught using a cork bat during a game in 1996. His bat shattered and sent several pieces of cork flying onto the field. That was enough evidence for umpires to eject him from the game and then he was suspended seven more games after that. In 2018, a member of the Australian national cricket team was caught tampering with a cricket ball in a game against South Africa. Cameron Bancroft was shown on the big screen using a yellow object to rub down the ball. He realized that everyone had seen him do it, so he tried to hide the object in his underwear, which also was caught on camera. At first, he claimed it was only adhesive tape, but later admitted that it was sandpaper he used to doctor the ball. Bancroft was suspended for nine months, and the team captains were banned for a full year for their involvement. In 2012, the LA Kings and San Jose Sharks were tied late in the third period. The Kings were on the power play when Ryan Klo reached his stick from the bench and poke-checked it off of Jarrett Stoll, who was skating by. His actions were somehow seen by everyone in Staples Center except for the referee, so the play went on with no penalty. In a game between the Rockets and Bucks, Andrew Bogut gets fouled and should be headed to the free throw line. But instead, Brandon Jennings tries to pull a fast one and go to the free throw line instead of Bogut, who is notoriously bad at the line. And Jennings actually got away with the first shot, but after complaints from the Houston bench, the refs made the correction and Bogut would go on to miss both shots. In a Bundesliga match, Augsburg goalkeeper Marvin Hitz, with the referee partially distracted, dug his studs into the turf to sabotage the penalty area. On the ensuing penalty kick, Cologne's Anthony Modest slipped on the area that Hitz had tampered with and missed the penalty. Hitz did apologize and avoided punishment, but did receive a bill to fix the stadium's turf. At the Heineken Cup in 2009, Tom Williams was caught taking blood capsules out of his socks and into his mouth to fake an injury so that he could be substituted off. For this, Williams was suspended four months and the team was fined a quarter of a million dollars. In 1983, boxer Luis Resto won by unanimous decision against Billy Collins Jr. After the fight, Billy Collins' father and trainer went up to Resto and shook his hand out of respect only to feel that there was something strange about his glove. While still in the ring, Collins' team insisted that the Boxing Commission investigate. It was later found that Resto had removed the padding from his gloves to make his punches harder and more damaging. Resto and his trainer were banned for life and would even serve time in prison for this incident. Brewers pitcher Will Smith threw only four pitches before Atlanta's dugout complained about the substance on his arm. When umpires inspected it, he was quickly ejected from the game and Smith was not happy about it. Smith admitted it was a mixture of rosin and sunscreen to improve his grip, but he claimed he only used it to warm up and just forgot to wipe it off after, but he was still suspended for six games. During a Thanksgiving Day game, Ravens kick returner Jacoby Jones looked to have a clear path for a touchdown. That is, until he got to around the 40-yard line where Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin was crowding the sideline and even steps onto the field at one point. Because of this, Jones was forced to alter his path and would be tackled shortly after. Tomlin wasn't penalized on the play, but after the game, he was fined $100,000 by the NFL for stepping onto the field. In a game between the Nets and Lakers, Brooklyn head coach Jason Kidd was out of timeouts late in the game. 
In order to delay the game, you can see him mouth the words, hit me, to his player Tyshawn Taylor. Then, when Taylor bumped into him, he made sure to drop his entire drink all over the court. And while the arena staff cleaned up the mess, he had his assistant coaches drop a last second play for his team. Kidd was later fined $50,000 by the NBA for the spill. In a Premier League matchup this year, cameras caught Tottenham manager Jose Mourinho walking over to the Southampton bench and reading their coach's notes. Mourinho was given a yellow card for his apparent spying. I deserve the, the, the yellow card because I was rude, but I was rude with an idiot. In a game between the Miami Dolphins and New York Jets, the Dolphins had punted the ball away and on the return, Jets strength and conditioning coach Sal Alosi stuck out his knee and tripped the Dolphins' Nolan Carroll. Not sure who that person is, but they should be ashamed of themselves. Alosi was suspended the remainder of the season and fined $25,000 for the incident.